everyone, my name is Ashley. Today I'm going to prune my pistachio tree, which I have already three, four trees. And uh, this one, it's close to the house, of course, but that has nothing to do with it. I want to show you, it's the time now, we are in January, and I want to prune it because I pruned some trees already. And this is the pistachio tree. Before I prune it, I want to show you something which I saw already and I did cut it. And I want to let you know that you will be very, very careful and watch your trees. Sometimes even you can give chemical, it's not going to help. Over here, this is a, over here that you see, there is a fresh bug, but they are very, very hard. I saw one, still it's fresh. They are like, uh, they lay egg and I think they are suckers. They are um, black, uh, bugs they are that they suck the juice from the tree and here is another one if you touch them it's really hard but they can lay so many eggs and they can take the strength of the tree and they will kill your trees so you have to be very careful to watch them so now this is my pistachio tree you'll see over here the branches are going right and left because that's how usually pistachio does and over here there is a lot of bulk of branches which i want to cut it sometimes you know when you don't cut them and when they get thicker like this you will feel bad to cut them so it's better when the tree starts to grow you do your pruning before it, they start to get thicker and like i said i always like my trees when i let them like the trunk grows and i will leave three trunk and then the third trunk will leave another tree trunk like one two three that's how i do it so this way it will be airy spacey and it will take a lot of uh, energy from the sun and you will be able to see through if there is any bugs or anything that you can take care of it so now here the first already the trunk the branch i'm gonna cut it from here Let's put this thing here and let me a little bit go get down. So I will cut closer. And I have to tell you the pistachio tree, it's pretty strong tree it is. So when you cannot cut it, you can always shake and then do it. But it's always good before you let them really grow, you cut it. And I'm gonna cut those little branches because I don't want them later on in future to grow. I don't want them in future to grow and then get thicker and it will be harder for me to take care of it here for example you will see the trunk is growing and it has so many branch on it and i don't want those well maybe let's see i will keep this here one two maybe i will keep the third i'm gonna cut those closer that's here we don't want them those to go like you see over here that the branches are curling left and right. The top, it's getting bushier. It needs to be cut. We're gonna cut those little small pieces over here. So when we pass, we go through, we don't hit our head or it doesn't poke our eyes. So you see over here, the top part, the way it goes, look over here, it's going to the other way. And this one goes this way and the other way. So I'm just going to go shorter, but wherever there is a little buds over here that it's going to come out. And I'm going to just cut it just like this. Those little branches, I'm going to take them off. Because in no time the tree, it's going to bloom again and it's going to fill it for me. So I am not worried about it. So this is the way that I do my way and hopefully when you do it and try to make it an angle always so this way you see over here this is i have to cut again there is a butt here i'm going to cut like this an angle and then i'm going to take those there is over here one two three four five branches and like it's a bunch so i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna leave three of them maybe i will cut with this little one make it easier to go in uh, let's see if this one i think we will cut this one because it's much closer to the branch there you go here now we have over here 
the one that it's curving and we don't need that over there to be that long and it looks like a sucker because it's not going to do anything it's going to just give me leaves with no fruits so and when it cuts like this just make sure you don't pull them because you don't want them to be peeled and in case if it happens it make sure you cut it a clean way And then, like I said, if it's when you cut the branches and it's over here, for example, if it's bigger than your thumb, the motorcycle goes by. When it's bigger than your thumb, you make sure that you seal it. If you don't seal it, the bugs are gonna go in and it's gonna kill your tree. So, over here, there is another branch that we wanna cut it and we don't want that to get like a sucker. There is a bud here, it will come out and try to make it like a little shorter. It will give you more uh, easier to be able to collect the fruits in case if it does any trees. So those things I'm gonna cut it because it's always gonna grow, get thicker. Here I have so many branches, so I'm gonna Cut, let's see this will be cut I'm gonna keep this a little bit far away one two three well there is three so I'm gonna cut those three I don't need it here it is I left the three branches there we go here those are little ones tiny ones we will cut it we will leave one two three one two three this is over here I don't know why it cuts over here now we're gonna go to do the other side this one I can make it full video for you to see because it's not that huge tree. Easier to do it. So now you will see over here it's like a sucker growing. So those things we do not need them. Cut closer to the branch. I will leave this one here as a one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna go shorter on the top. I need my bigger nipper that I have to cut it let's cut those little ones get rid of it you don't need them very soon in no time it's gonna grow and you're gonna see how full it's gonna look all right now this one there is a lot of buds all over so I'm gonna shorten it and it's such a beautiful to work in the garden because it takes your stress away I know it's work but it's fun at the same time when you pick up the fruits you will enjoy it there you go I think this much I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna leave there's a little branch here needs to be cut there you go all right so now that you see the tree nice and nice and perfect comfortable even the tree it needs to be relaxed not to have so much stress which it means doesn't need too much branch to try to give fruits even the tree gets tired this is a little bit hard over here i have to do with the big nipper all right so here we go Wherever I cut it, that's the place I have to cut. I'm gonna come one step down so I can get my strength. There we go. All right. So I think I'm gonna cut this like this. And let's shorten this part too. All right, here we go. You can come this way, you can show the tree. And let me see. I'm gonna cut this part over here too that we don't need it. There you go. Now, in summertime, it's gonna give me lots of branches and lots of leaves and lots of flowers. I'm gonna enjoy them well this is my way to prune it now it will get more air sun fresh 
and it will give you plenty of fruit. Sometimes when you plant a new tree, you can put them when they, the branches starts to grow left and right and you don't want them to be spreaded. So take a rope, this is, not, I'm not tying it for the tree, but take the rope and bring them together while it's pretty soft like this and tie them together. But you don't want this much close in case if it grows wild different direction and you don't want to cut them just tie them and then let it go loose so anyway this is the way you do it and i like i said to you if you see any bugs or anything make sure you clean your nippers so they won't get any uh, diseases from one tree to another like the way i showed you the bugs you don't want them to be in your garden pick them up and burn them those woods that always when I prune them I take them and I make a fireplace and I burn them all so this way I don't have to throw it in a dumpster in a green uh, recycle so they won't carry disease while they make a fertilizer for you so anyway I thank you very much for watching I hope you like this channel my videos and if you like it please subscribe and like and go check my videos my playlist I have uh, needle laces, the cooking, the garden, the animals. You can see so many. And I hope I give you good ideas like this. So enjoy it. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patriot.com for their support to make my channel possible. Thank you.